All right, so I am going to talk about my experience on the carnivore diet. Um, you may or may not agree with me and that's okay. You may or may not want to do what I'm doing and that is okay, but this video is about my experience and how I felt being a vegan for seven years versus being a carnivore for the past four months, which a lot of benefits has happened because I've been eating red meat every day, a pound of red meat every day for four months. Um, and there are a lot of benefits that came about that. And one of them is iron absorption. And that's actually the benefit I will be talking about in this video. Um, so heme iron versus plant iron, non-heme iron, AKA non-heme iron. Um, heme iron, you guys, I just found this out like a couple of months ago, which I think was like three months ago, that heme iron has more bioavailability. And what that means is basically it's easily absorbed by the body, which is because it has a very different molecular structure compared to non-heme iron. Non-heme iron is not bioavailable. And yes, it can be more absorbable if you add vitamin C, if you pair it with vitamin C, but even yet the most, um, like the best absorbers still don't get enough of the absorption from iron, from the non-heme iron. So it's really important to understand that heme iron has more um, bioavailability, which means your body utilizes the iron that you intake in your body, which is super important for your body, especially amongst women. And I'll get into that later. Um, so with that being said, you know, non-heme iron, even if you take it as a supplement, um, it's really hard to even get your body to absorb the iron from the supplement because that iron from the supplement ends up in your colon, your colon, excuse me, colon. Um, and what's the point of, you know, intaking a supplement that ends up in your colon? Like there's no point and it's weird and gross and we don't want that. We don't want constipation. Um, and so one of also the issues with, um, non-heme iron, there's a lot of polyphenols and fiber that doesn't help with absorption of the iron in your body. When you intake non-heme iron, plant iron. Okay. So heme iron is much more bioavailable which means it can be easily absorbed by your body um, because of its molecular structure, okay? You can get it from eggs, red meat, um, yeah, eggs, red meat, sardines. And for me, I can say that my, as a woman, my menstrual cycle, after many years since being, you know, a teenager, has been on point the past two months, okay? I have no cramps, I have no headaches, you know, it's been on point and so much so that on the first day I can walk and get out of my house and do work and do errands. That's a huge deal for me. Okay. And I'm going based off feelings instead of paperwork, like blood work, because I think it's really important to, to understand how our body feels when we intake certain foods, how we react to certain foods, because for seven years I was vegan. And even though on paper, my blood work showed that I was, you know, great, it, it made me feel like it was a mind bending fact to know that my blood work was great, but my body was saying something else. Like my mind was like, you feel horrible. Like, this is weird. Why are doctors telling me that I have the blood work of an athlete, but I feel like crap. Okay. Maybe I, I am doing it right, but why do I feel like crap? And so now that I've been eating meat every day for the past four months, I feel amazing. No brain fog menstrual cycle on point. I can focus more now, more than ever. Um, and I think it's really important to talk about, emphasize how much, how much we should pay attention to how our bodies react to certain foods. And to me, for me at least, eating meat has been exponentially better than being vegan. I'm not saying you should be vegan or not vegan. You can do whatever you want. You can be, try all these different diets, no judgment. I'm just saying this is my experience and that, you know, in the next video, I will show my blood work because that is as important as how you feel on the diet. But I do want to emphasize on if you feel great eating a certain food, if you feel energized, amazing, and um, full of energy, that's a good thing. Okay. Um, so for me, I wanted to say that in this video and talk about how, you know, heme iron is very different from non heme iron. Okay. Non heme iron is not bioavailable. That's just the truth. That's just is what it is. And, um, 
If you like this video, like the video. If you have any questions or comments, or if you even disagree and want to um, talk about something of substance in the comments down below, I will answer it. If your comment is not of substance and it's rude, I will not comment back. Uh, but other than that, if you like the video, like the video and have an amazing day. And I will show you my blood work the next time I come in. And yeah, until then, bye.